Hello, it's the 18th of January. I'm Joe Neighbour from Signal Centre. This is a quick roundup on the latest technical outlook for cryptocurrencies. Um, just in terms of the last 24 hours, we have seen a bit of a risk off move in some of the riskier assets like uh, equities and uh, to a lesser extent cryptocurrency. Uh, at the moment, we seem to be in a bit of a corrective phase when it comes to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, as it stands, they were unable to make any headwind yesterday, despite uh, benign risk conditions, because it was a, a bank holiday or sorry, a public holiday in the uh, States yesterday. So this is the chart for Bitcoin. This is the daily setup and price at the moment remains trapped below this downtrend resistance line, which is drawn on by the blue descending line that we have on this daily chart. We have some very clear support in place at 39,600. So that's that key swing low there from the 21st of September 2021. And this key low that we posted on the 10th of January 2022. So for now, that is the key level that we need to be watching from a technical perspective. That has done a pretty good job of uh, providing support so far. If that fails to hold, then we will be looking for the next levels down at 35,348, which is this blue line here. Now, why that's relevant, um, according to my charts, is that uh, it's a Fibonacci retracement level of this entire move, which uh, apologies for that. We've seemed to have a, a bit of an issue with the drawing. So actually correction it's 36 36,429 that's the entire up move that we saw from the lows in bitcoin which uh, we saw at the height of the pandemic in march 2020 so that 50 percent level uh, obviously represents half of the move uh, coming down so that could potentially provide some support for the uh, the balls in the short term below that the interesting zone of support that i'm looking at is this 30,000 level which we saw touched on a number of occasions throughout 2021 and below that we have this 61.8 percent fibonacci retracement at 28,742 so if we can uh, fail to hold on to these support levels here then for me this is the very uh, pivotal area that we could potentially see Bitcoin retrace all the way down to. So things can change very quickly, as we know, in the cryptocurrency space. Um, in order for us to invalidate this kind of bearish view that we have at the moment, I think what we need to see is a break up above this downtrend resistance line that has formed on the daily chart. So if we can take out something in the region of sort of 44,455, then we'd be looking for a continuation higher in line with the dominant trend that we see on Bitcoin. And then we'd be looking again for a retest of those most recent highs at 69,000 and beyond. Um, so pressure to the downside at the moment, not being helped, obviously, by the conditions that we're seeing elsewhere in financial markets. Um, so, you know, please bear that in mind. Let's just flip over quickly to Ethereum to have a quick look at that again. Similar sort of situation does remain under pressure at the moment. We are being contained by this downtrend resistance line here that we can see on the daily chart. We've got a number of horizontal resistance lines also that have formed, the most latest being at 3,575. Uh, and we've kind of got both of those levels lining up at the same time, uh, same place at the minute, the downtrend and the horizontal resistance line. If we can overcome this 3,570 level, this will be a, a moving target as we continue on uh, in a time fashion from now. But uh, above that, then I think we can start thinking about a continuation higher in terms of the price. But in the short term, we're looking down at this kind of 3000 level uh, and 2928 to be specific, which was this key low that was posted on the 10th of January. If that gets taken out, then we're looking further over to the left hand side for some references for some support zones. And we are looking at 2651, which is this key low from the 21st of September last year. Uh, if we get below that level, then, you know, we do have a fair amount of fresh air to be moving into on the downside. And I can quite clearly see that there are some supports here uh, that have been put in place by these candle wicks that go as low as 17, um, 1728. So those are the key levels that we're looking at on both Bitcoin and Ethereum today. Hopefully that's been useful for those watching. And uh, we'll be back again very soon with a fresh update on the cryptocurrency space. Until then, trade safe. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.